trapped. And it's pretty much life or death at this point. Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you are sleeping. We all know that one of the most popular TCL TV series, My 600 Pounds Life, is revolves around the life stories of morbidly obese patients who appear on the show to start their weight loss journeys. But now people have doubts. That is, this show seems to be ending soon in the future because it has started facing criticism for so many reasons. In today's video, we will be looking at all those reasons and we'll figure out that is my 600 pound life ending soon and why? producers being such bullies. Some of the contestants expressed their views about the misbehavior of the producers and even revealed that the producers, while featuring and filming, exaggerated their life stories in order to get the expected TRPS for their show for business. Amber Rachdi, a well-known contestant from season three, also shared her opinions related to the producers while telling Starcasm that producers were the ones who used to come late on the set rather than on the scheduled time. According to her, they acted as the biggest bullies as they laughed, made fun, or even asked things again and again for fun. She also added that they also replicated some of the scenes that she filmed with them. She even told Starcasm that whenever she refused to do something they asked her to do while filming, they even blackmailed her. As whenever they said no to something as she wasn't comfortable filming, some of the scenes as she couldn't cross her boundaries, they threatened her that will postpone her gastric bypass surgery or may be cancelled, so therefore, she had no chance to say no to them. Another contestant, Destiny Lashy, also shared that the production company Mango Media also forced her that before appearing on the camera, she had to shave her face. She expressed that such sort of their behavior made her feel inferior and suicidal. Therefore, there comes a point when she had to kick the crew team out of her house. Well, as a viewer, I would say that she did right because there is no room for such pathetic conduct. Not just these two. Even the participant, Dottie Perkins from Season 4, also alleged Megalomedia for portraying the fake information related to her. According to her claims, producers had manipulated the viewers as they lied about her weight and showed that she is gaining weight in her episode. But in reality, she was losing at that time. Disrespectful Bathroom Graphics According to the viewers, the bathroom scenes are the nastiest ones because such scenes are not pleasant to watch because they are totally offensive. Because it is obvious that you are violating someone's privacy just to get some handsome views by doing such inappropriate tactics would make you nothing but a disgusting person. Isn't it totally pathetic for such a popular reality TV show to make the contestants feel uncomfortable by violating their privacy especially when they want to meet their hygienic needs? While telecasting some bathroom scenes in the show, participants were even shown taking showers with no clothes on and using toilets with minimal censorship. Totally out of place. Not just that, there were some patients who can't fit in the bathroom to take a shower peacefully have been filmed while using a hose, a big fat bathtub, or a bedpan outside their houses. What a disgusting behavior, isn't? I mean such scenes are not suitable as they can hurt someone's self-esteem and even can humiliate them. But for the makers of this show, such acts aren't offensive. Maybe because they can't see this sort of behavior of them through our lenses, but money. Because such scenes will skyrocket the views and such scenes involving the bathroom routines of the patients will grab the attention of the viewers. Because according to them, that's what in which viewers are interested to watch. What a shame. Such inappropriate bathroom graphic scenes might be light for some of the viewers, or some psychics may find them interesting to watch. God knows. But the majority of sensible fans found them unnecessary to add. In fact, some of the fans have shown their disappointment regarding such an act on multiple social platforms, and one of the viewers even has written a comment on Reddit that the bathroom scenes have made him feel freaky and sometimes bothered him because the makers didn't focus on maintaining one's dignity. Fat Shaming People Many viewers have shared their perspectives and even accuse this show by claiming that this show is spreading fatphobia in people instead of supporting them to overcome their weight-related problems. According to some, they share that the show has shown obese patients as a loser or even portrayed as they have done something worse for being in this position they are in. In fact, 
The majority of the viewers claimed that my 600-pound life did nothing good but exploited the patients with significant traumas just for their TRP ratings. Due to all that, many people have severely criticized the show badly, which might be the reason that the viewers are considering that this show is going to end soon. Even some people say that this show isn't doing their duty up to the mark as they aren't making the public understand the complications morbidly obese patients have to face every day. But what they are doing isn't acceptable as they are spreading fat phobia and making fat people feel like they are losers or are worse for being overweight. Even a well-known social justice, Derek Clifton, has also criticized this show and said that the fat people in their curiosities had been probed and displayed for non-fat people on this show. Even some shared their opinion that my 600-pound life was meant to show the patients as heroes as they are determined to change their lives, but the show failed as the makers had shown them as inferior for not being skinny. On the other hand, Arthur Roxane Gay also has said that this show could do better and added that I assure you that there are many fat people in the world and their stories deserve to be told in a way that is not exploitative as my 600-pound life, which I hate to watch. Cast Members Sue Production Company Despite the fact that fans love Surgeon Doctor now for being so helpful and straightforward, some cast members didn't say nice words for the production company, Megalomedia. Even as has mentioned earlier in the video that Amber Ratchdy has criticized the production company for their bully nature as they didn't show any dignity and respect to her boundaries. But there are 10 others as well who have filed lawsuits against the Megalomedia for several reasons. According to the legal sources, when James L.B. Bonner committed suicide in 2018 after surgery, his family filed the first lawsuit against them and accused the company of not being professional as while filming his journey. Producers didn't provide James with mental health care, especially when he showed some crystal clear signs of depression. Not just that, James Bonner's family also accused the producers that they pressured him to film the uncomfortable scenes for that he wasn't ready. Gina Krasley filed a lawsuit against the production company as well and claimed that during her surgery, the megalomedia didn't provide her medical health care and psychological evaluation when she needed it the most. She also added that the crew team didn't know how to deal with the patients who are suffering from depression. She also shared that the crew members weren't trained well to treat patients properly as such non-serious acts could make them suicidal. Even the majority of former cast members allege that the production company of My 600 Pound Life only concerns their ratings. Forced Patients to Continue Filming A cast member Jeannie Covey is among those members who also have sued the production company for their inappropriate and unbearable behavior towards the patients. While filming her episode, her father passed away and therefore, she had to leave the show. She was the first patient who left the show on her own while she was under treatment. By the way, she alleged that the production company put pressure on her for not quitting or leaving the filming. She has also accused Megalomedia of lying and for not covering the $70,000 medical bills of her mother Barbara's hernia operation as they promised they will. She also informed Starcasm that the production company hadn't covered the medical bills. Therefore, she has to pay all the bills on her own despite the production company assured her that they will. Tony Busby claimed to end the show. A famous lawyer, Tony Busby, who has never lost any of his cases, is all set to represent the members who have sued Megalomedia. Not just that, he even claimed that unless the production company is ready to create some healthy changes, he would end this show. He also expressed that doctors are supposed to be focused on the well-being and welfare of their patients as medical professionals, not as instigators of TRPS. He added that because of the negligence and uncouth behavior of this show's producers, it has become a nightmare for the people who have featured on the show or ever been a part of the show. So, if Tony is really about to represent against the megalomedia, then it is a must that my 600-pound life will be over soon as he rarely loses. Doctor Now Divorce Could Be a Reason Most people watch my 600-pound life show only for the real star of the show that is nonetheless Doctor Now. His way of dealing with obese patients earned him all the appreciation and love of his fans. But there is something related to Dr. Now's personal life that his fans are not aware of. The biggest failures he has faced are some in his personal life as well. He has worked in this show for the past four decades as a surgeon 
and his estimated net worth is up to $6 million. According to sources, he and his initial wife Dolores McRedman got divorced, who used to work with him as his secretary. But in 2002, after staying together for 27 years, she filed a case for a divorce with a claim that Dr. Now has exhibited cruel treatment and provided no support to her. That case took two years straight, and the court rested the case in favor of his wife. So, Dolores McRedman had gotten 70% of the assets that he had accumulated from his career. That's all guys for today. Thank you for watching the video. And if you guys found it interesting, I would much appreciate it if you comment down below about the video and leave the thumbs up.